My wife has jobs. She does things, you know. She does the laundry. I, I, now, look, it's not a woman-man thing, all right? I don't mind doing the laundry. She doesn't like the way I do the laundry. I pick it all up, and I throw it in there. My wife has nine different loads. The towels go by themselves, and the whites, and the more whites, and the less whites. But she complains every day. All I hear is, the laundry. I'm so tired of all the laundry in this house. I do the trash. I don't walk around the house going, the trash. There's so much trash in this house. Let me show, it's 2018. Let me show you how easy it is to wash the laundry. Look. Magic. But all I hear, the laundry. First of all, honey, all of this is yours. I wear the same jeans all week. I use one towel a month. You use nine a day. But my wife, the laundry. I could understand if you had to go to the river and wash it on a rock. I could understand how you could be a little upset. Because I watch the Discovery Channel, people. And I see women with baskets on their head walking to the river. None of them are going, the laundry. <laughs> Another one of my jobs, anything outside. If it's outside, it's my job. If it's outside and it comes inside, I take it back outside. Oh, my wife will scream from the other side of the house, there's a spider in here. I have to go over there in a hurry and act like I give a shit. Where? Show it to me. Where? <laughs> it's right there. Kill it. Go get my weapon, the napkin. <laughs> That's what I use. I use a napkin and I kick the shit out of it because I'm a little scared myself. <laughs> Sometimes I look in the napkin, the spider's not in there. I'm like, oh, shit. <laughs> my wife, did you get it? I'm a good husband, I lie to her. I got him. You go ahead and sleep tonight. I'm not. That spider saw my face. She has another job, she's our interior decorator. Look, I gotta admit, man, we have a beautiful home and that's because of my wife. Because she's an interior decorator. She has a degree in interior decorating. She got it on Pinterest. Things change once you've been together a long time. We've been together a long time. Even how you resolve conflict. You know, because I remember in the beginning when we get in fights, I didn't think the relationship was strong enough to sustain it. You know, we get in a bad fight. I'm like, oh, we're going to break up. That's a bad fight. It's over. Like, we've been together so long now. When we get into it, I'm like, ugh. I'm going to see her tomorrow. But look, I'm like, if we're going to fight, that's fine. Just learn how to fight fair. That's all we ask. Fight fair. Stop doing dirty stuff. I'm like, you going to do my laundry? Do my laundry. <laughs> she going to wash my clothes, get pissed off, and not dry them. <laughs> I mean, they dry, but not the way they were supposed to. I'm out with my homeboys. They're like, y'all smell mildew? I'm like, <laughs> I'm like, I know, right? I've been smelling it all day. I think it's me. Anybody got a dryer sheet that I could rub on my body? And she evil. I think she washed them with a napkin because I had all types of paper ball crumbs on me. My pants was all crispy. They're like, Mike, you gonna have to meet us there. I show up to the club to bounce. Other man, just an emotional roller coaster. And man, we all have emotions. We're supposed to just learn how to manage them. That's it, because she's just a roller coaster. 
of emotions. You don't even see the emotions show up. They just show up like, you don't care. You don't love me. You never loved me. Hey, wait, 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 did you just draw a heart on your chest? So you think everything is a damn joke? <laughs> Ladies, what's up there when y'all get pissed off? <laughs> what is that last time I went to investigate? I don't know, I can't see it, huh? You don't care, I do care. You don't, you don't care. I do. <laughs> you don't care. I think I do. <laughs> I think people need to be more considerate of other people's lack of emotion. How about I repeat that? People need to be more considerate of other people's lack of emotion. Yes, yes. Just because I don't care doesn't mean I don't care. <laughs> I love differently. That doesn't mean it's less. You don't think I love her? This is how much. If a, if a train was coming, I'd push her out the way, save her life. Oh. <laughs> but you're heartless? It's like you're not even listening right now. I just said a train's coming, I pushed out the way and saved her life. That's romantic. Oh, too late, damn. <laughs> You a crowd of hers, you're not listening. <laughs> you know, I'll juxtapose to help you understand the romance level. I wouldn't do this for some of my exes. <laughs> no. For them, I'd be like, Trey! <laughs> Damn. <laughs> I guess she didn't hear me. <laughs> and I was the one who never listened. <laughs> I don't know, man, we get divorced about every six months. The last time we almost got divorced was over trash bags. You laugh, but she won't take out the trash. Now, don't get me wrong, ladies, I know it's my job. I saw your faces. I know I'm the trash man, I get it. But every once in a while, when I'm not around, can you help daddy out a little bit? She won't, even if it's full. She'll just put trash around the trash. As if to say, hey, stupid, do your job. You know where I draw the line? I don't replace the bag. If I'm the trash man, she's the bag lady, I don't care. So here's what happened. I had something to throw away. I got to the trash can, there was no bag. At that point, I had to make a decision. Put the bag in myself like a little bitch, or throw it away anyway and send out a message. I decided to send out a message. I threw it away and I went to the living room and I prepared myself. Oh, I knew she was coming. I was not ready for her to bring the entire trash can with her. Oh, she brought the whole trash can. <laughs> Why did you do that? I was ready. I said, because it's not my job. I'm the trash man, you're the bag lady. Of course, my wife, <laughs> nobody has jobs. If you see something in this house that needs to get done, just do it. <laughs> really? I said, when's the last time you took out the trash? Oh my God, you're yelling at me. <laughs> oh, now we're fighting about the way that I talk to her. No more about trash bags. I just want to know when the last time is you took out the trash. I don't like the way you're talking to me. Wait. When is the last time that you took out the trash? You're being an asshole. And then that leads to, I'm so tired of this. I'm like, I'm tired of this too. I don't even know why we're married. I don't even know why we're married either. I'm a file for a divorce. We'll bring the papers, I'll sign them. I don't give a damn. <laughs> Keep the house. I know, because it's in my name, because your credit sucks. Well, <laughs> that's why I did it. An hour later, I'm like, I'm hungry. You hungry? Let's go eat, come on. As I'm putting the bag, come on! <laughs> I 
I wish we could fight like that. We don't fight like that anymore. Now we have a baby. So now we fight like this. I'm so tired. I'm tired. Shh. You want to wake up the baby? Because you're going to wake up the baby. I don't care if the baby. Shh. I'm going to file for divorce. Bring the paper. We fought a lot. That's another sign. We fought about really dumb stuff. Like, we fought once during the show Catfish. Have you guys seen the show Catfish? Yes. Yes? Okay. Well, apparently, I was talking during the important parts of Catfish. And if you've seen Catfish and you think there are important parts in Catfish, you are part of the problem. It's about people who pretend to be different people online. And he's like, don't you think you could learn something from this? And I was like, the only thing I'm learning is that you're not who I thought you were. <laughs> Thank you, ladies. Thank you. <laughs> She's like, going through it right now, man. Going through it right now. I feel you, I feel you. One of our fights was really, really dumb, even dumber than that. Like, he was sort of competitive with me. I think it's so important to find someone who lifts you up, supports you, you know. And one, one time, just out of the blue, he goes, you know, you're not smarter than me. <laughs> and I was like, it's actually smarter than I am. <laughs> And then he said, well, between you and I, I finished college and you didn't. And I was like, it's actually between you and me. And then he said, you and I are done. And I was like, you got that one right. You guys were so smart, you saw that coming. You knew exactly what the grammar was. Some people don't know the correct grammar, but this is, you can tell you're in a college town, you know? <laughs> Educated bunch in here. I should have known he wasn't right for me when my mom liked him. That was probably the final straw. <laughs> you know, she's just so desperate at this point, you know? Like, she, she's so sick of having conversations where we have nothing to talk about, like, you know, because I don't have an, a boyfriend or, as I said, anything uh, except a toaster. And um, so the conversations are all just like, so, how's, how's your car doing? Still driving it, you know? Still has four wheels. How, how's your apartment? Still live there. Yep. So she just wants something else to talk about, you know? And now I think she's just really, like, hoping I might be gay. <laughs> She's like holding out for that because anytime I post a photo with a girl, she's, she emails me and she's like, Dana looks nice. Are you going to bring Dana home for Christmas? Can't wait to meet her. I'm like, I'm not gay yet. You know, give me, give me one more year. One more year to try this. Another guy I dated, I called her about. I was like, I'm seeing a new guy. Um, he doesn't have a job right now. There is a slight chance he's a drug addict. Small possibility he's also homeless because he's been staying with me for about four days. Doesn't look like he's making much progress and leaving anytime soon. And she just goes, but he likes you? I was like, mom, to know your worth, honey. She always said, know your worth. And she was like, that was when you were younger. You are worth a lot more back then. I am getting a little older. I'm not old, but I'm, I'm in my 30s. Is anyone in that age range here? Yeah. Wow, you're pretty happy about it. That's good. Good job. Usually they're like, yeah, here. It's funny because for some reason, the second you turn 30, you start saying you're old. You're like, that's it, I'm old now, I'm old. And then for 10 years, you just keep saying it. You're like, I'm old, I'm old, I'm old, I'm old. And then you turn 40 and you're like, now I'm 
old. I could have been young for an extra 10 years, but I wasted it saying I was old. Now I've lost 10 extra years where I could have been young. Then you turn 80, you're like, now I'm really old. I could have been just kind of old. Now I'm really old. Then you die. And you're like, I could have been alive for 82 and a half years. Now I'm dead. I can't even have this brilliant thought. My parents are still together. My folks are still together, and I hope that's a good template for me. Don't clap. You understand why. I've known my parents my whole life, obviously. But it's only until recent that I start seeing things in them that I never saw before when I was younger. My mother talks to my father the way it takes us the third time to tell somebody something. Now, I know that doesn't make sense when I say it like that, okay? But let's say, miss, you and I are dating. And this is the first time I say this to her. I go, honey, have you seen my keys? Well, you don't answer me. Where's the second time I say it? Hey, honey, have you seen my keys? You still don't answer me. Here's the third time I say it. Hey, are you deaf? Have you seen my keys? <laughs> So you see how I slowly build up and ramp up to that last one? With my mom, there's no build up. That last one is a first and only one. Hey, face! Oh my God, it's morning. <laughs> what? Jesus. My father's retired. He does not wear pants at home. <laughs> Tidy whities all day long, because he knows at least eight times a day, he's going to get scared out of him. A little sprinkle is going to come out. It's like, I got to change my underwear again. This is driving me nuts. Nuts. We're fishing off his back deck one day. He lives in Florida. We're fishing one day. My mom comes over and yells at my father. Like, I love you or whatever. And uh, <laughs> my father looks at me, he goes, Steve, you just can't win. <laughs> and we laughed. Minute goes by. One minute, nobody says anything to each other. I don't know if the next thing I heard out of his mouth, if he's saying it to himself or to me, but after 60 seconds, this was the very next thing I heard him say. You'll never win. What would have made that moment perfect is if my father fell in the water, I saw a few bubbles, and I never saw my father ever again. I, I realized in that moment, my father has no, no fight left in him. He's just broken down. He wakes up getting yelled at. He goes to bed getting yelled at. He's like Seabiscuit before he met Tobey Maguire. It's just broken. I swear to, I think once you get married, women treat the house like it's a restaurant, and they're the manager, and there's no customers in it. <laughs> and every time they look at the guy, it's like he's a, he's a waiter. Just, it's like, get up, do something, clean something, stay busy, go, Jesus. <laughs> I visit my father, he's always in the garage, he's hammering. <laughs> I go, what are you hammering? He goes, nothing. Single tear. <laughs> I realize in that moment, my father has no fight left in him, okay? I do, and I believe this. I believe that women and men have a different definition of what a fight is. I think a fight to a woman is emotional, and I believe a fight to a man, physical. When we hear the word fight, UFC, a hockey game, <laughs> going down in the park a lot, I'll tell you this, I've been a part of fights. I did not even know that I was in a fight. <laughs> my wife's like, Thud, do you remember last night we were fighting? I was making a hot pocket. What the f are you talking about? <laughs> a real fight to a woman is any time she cries. That's the peak of emotions, okay? A fight to a man, at least a fight to me, when I know I'm in a fight, any time I've got to define to her what yelling is. That's when I know, oh, now I'm in a fight. I'll come home, I hear some crying. <laughs> What's wrong with you? What? I just walk in the door, you're crying. Why are you crying? Why are you yelling at me? I'm not yelling, I care about you. I'm trying to figure out why you're crying. See? See, you don't even recognize it, do you? You're yelling right now, okay? It's your tone. That tone is young, so please stop doing it, all right? What the f are you talking about? Stop yelling at me, okay? I'm not yelling at you. 
I'm just trying to find out why the f you're crying. <laughs> just get away from me. It's like there's a scary monster in this house, okay? And I'm scared for my life. Just go. Just come here. No. You always do this windmill move that doesn't stop. No. Stop. Don't. Just tell me what the is wrong with you. I would, but you keep yelling. I'm not yelling. Yes, you are. That's yelling. This isn't yelling. This is yelling. That's a fight to me.